Hi. <laughs> This is real. This is real. in the making. Next time, don't do that. <laughs> Just <laughs> that's so good. Oh my god. How are you girls? Um, you good? planning mode. Yeah, good. What are you planning? Well, firstly, we're enjoying our own music. I think it always starts there. It's always started from like home, you know, in the bedroom, playing by ourselves, and because we enjoy that enough. We want to share it because mm -hmm. it's so fun. We want to share it and to whoever will listen, you know, not because of the novelty of anything we've been in the past. But it's like, you'll have to get to know us all over again. You know, maybe it shows in our music. Like we really miss the connection with people in real life. Vibing together, like we really miss that. So what are you guys thinking? Well, here's the thing. I feel like we have been feeling really safe, but I feel like we need to take that risk to be able to learn more and feel like, oh my gosh, like there's still so much more to experience. You know, in, even if we've done it for, for 16 years now. Hi guys. Hi. 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 This is Janice and Sonia. I don't want to feel like this is something that I just do without like passion or, you know, wide-eyed. I don't want to feel like I've retired from music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't retired yet. I'm not ready. We want to sing um, spontaneously. Like, I think it'd be so... We've always talked about, yeah, like, busking. busking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, going on the streets and just singing when no one asked for it. <laughs> you know, like, it takes a lot of courage. And it's really scary to do, so we haven't done it. Do you picture yourselves ever doing it on the street? Or are you thinking, like, cafes and then maybe just slowly grow the venue? Um, I think I've been subconsciously like s scouting for like places and like doesn't have to be a stage or anything like fancy, you know, just a, just a really interesting space. But I found that that's not the issue. I think it's the, the courage <laughs> that is the issue. Mm -hmm. So What's I- What's stopping us? Us. <laughs> What's the fear? Probably fear of judgment, not feeling good enough. Mm and feeling like, like... no one wants to hear you? Yeah, I mean like, get, uh, the fear of getting insulted by that, about what someone else thinks about me, that's mm. the fear. <laughs> like you're, you're putting your heart out there for anyone to see and have an opinion, you know? So it is a scary thing, I think, to be vulnerable, that vulnerable to strangers. But like, like you said, this is not something that I haven't done before. Like, you know, we've danced on the streets like for on mission trips and stuff. Go to the streets and start dancing, do like this routine that we practiced just for that. Um, but I think when you stop doing it, like, like anything, yeah. you lose that muscle memory, you lose that like ability to just sort of like- Not be scared. Yeah, just yeah, rationalize it. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is the first step in us kind of breaking that and trying to do this again, take a risk and do the stuff that we love to do and be fearless about it. We're, we're, we're ready to go and this is our first step. It's just we need the accountability and the fear, you know? Right? That's what finding me is about, right? <laughs> What's inspiring you to come out of your shell, come out from under your rock? We've spent like a few years apart doing our own thing doing our own music in our own bedrooms and dealing with our own kids and learning our own lessons and becoming our own people mm -hmm. and and then we one day we kind of went do you want to jam <laughs> again you gotta be bad you gotta be bold you gotta be wiser you gotta be hard you gotta be tough you gotta be stronger And it was 
was like, wow, this feels amazing. Like, this, this is magic. So, like, you guys hadn't jammed for a while together? Yeah. We, or just not in the same kind of, with the same kind of chemistry or something? We hadn't dealt with traumas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, you guys kind of, when your separate lives, dealt with your traumas. Yeah. And realized you were, you know. Not like, the why same are we person. doing this? Why are we wasting time and not singing? Um. We really, really love to sing, as I guess um, you guys have figured, but we really love to sing. We love singing. Um, it's, it's our passion. But that took a lot of work, you know, like singing together, working together with your family, your twin, is a very difficult thing because, you know, you've got so many, so many things that could go wrong. <laughs> so many triggers. Like your insecurities, your fears, your just you've got the comparison, not feeling good enough, or all of that. And that's what we dealt with for I'd say a good few years and only now we have sort of like come back together which I knew this day would come um, it was just a really necessary step in a process so that I think that has ultimately been what's helping us come out of the rock because it's just time like mm -hmm. hibernation has sort of come to an end so what's the plan do you have an idea of what you want to um, We're gonna test out the busking feels, see what happens, and just not say anything. If you've been on the run too long, and it's time to let it be. Have like a month where we, every weekend we just quietly, quietly set up. The air is always there, baby, even if you don't believe. So don't you be scared, cause I still have a bit of magic up my sleeve. Quietly sing set a few up. songs. Quietly sing. Don't announce anything, don't promote anything. Just really set it up so that we can do it for ourselves yeah. and not for other people. You know, what we want to do, there's a long-term, this long-term dream that we want to have a show, kind of create a space to share our story for, for even our friends and family to get to know us and sort of catch up with us as well. Yeah. Um, and then maybe open that up to, open that show up to the public. Mm -hmm. Um, and whoever else wants to hear our story and, I don't know, just chill out, connect, reconnect. Hi guys, Hi. Um, we are Janice and Sonia, twins, and we're 22, and, and we live in Sydney, Australia. Australia. Yeah, we just thought we were gonna, we should introduce ourselves seeing as we have never talked before, and we're really nervous right now because, um, We've never talked on the internet like this before. 